boxes. You're on. Hi, everybody. This is Beth McCullough. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Iowa in the United States. And I'm here every Tuesday night with my sweet husband, Steve. Hi, everybody. And we're on at 7 Central Time on Tuesdays. I put it up here. Is this showing? It is. And we're on Wednesdays at noon, also Central Time. So if you're on the East Coast, 8 o'clock Tuesday night, um, 1 o'clock on Wednesday. So anyway, I'm glad you're here. I have a cute Reese's Pumpkin treat box to show you. Do you like these? Oh, I love Is them. this our favorite I mean, kind? Okay, let's be serious. Who does not like Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? Everyone knows they come in trees. They come. Do they come in turkeys at Thanksgiving? I I'm don't not think so. No. They should do that. I should call them. I have a marketing tip for them. They should make pumpkin or go. turkeys. But they make uh, Valentine's, Christmas, and Halloween for sure. That's what we're going to make. So if you want to make it along with me, I have a template. And you need a piece of cardstock three and a half by nine. So go ahead and grab that. And I want to show you a couple things before we get started. I had some friends stop by today from Pennsylvania and New York and brought us some sweet presents and cards. And we had some fun stamping together. Aren't these cards beautiful? They're three by three. This one is from Tony Shaw. The road to a friend's house is never long. She knows I like biking. We both like biking, don't yeah, we? we do. And bright colors. So, so cute. I also love daisies. I have a whole wall of daisies. I should take a picture of it. And she made um, the cute envelope too. And this is from Jean Hoffman. So thank you so much, both of you. Also, they gave us treats. Let's yes. let's get to the treats. They, they gave us treats. Can you see this? I'm going to have to... Okay, first, the bag. Jean is a quilter and a seamstress, and she made this beautiful bag. I'm going to take the things out so I can show the bag. And it's got fish on the inside. It's Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana, my favorite colors. Of course. Yeah, so this, this is going to live in my stamping room. Isn't it fun? I just love it. Thank you so very much. They also brought... It's barbecue time. I have this stamp set and what a cute idea. It is state fair. I don't know how, how did they say this? Speedy, spidey, spidey um, marinade sauce. Yum. We've never had this, of course. So they told me how to make it. They, beef, they said, beef and pork, right? Yes. And you, and you, you chop it up into cubes like, and then you marinate it overnight and then you stick it on skewers. We, we have skewers we got as a wedding gift, Steve, that we've never used. It's time to use them. It's, you know, we're going to, I bet by next week, we will have had this. We could have some steak. Mm. I'm getting hungry just talking yeah. about this stuff. So then uh, Tony made this cute box. Isn't that adorable? Season of thanks. And in here, yum, another thing we love. It is pure maple syrup in a cute bottle. It's adorable. The maple leaf bottle. I know. So cute. And then they also have a friend who does their own raw honey. Do you get it? Be happy. So cute. Just love that. So thank, thank you guys for stamping with me and for the fun cards and presents. And thanks for the goodies. Yeah. It was, it was super fun. Okay. So here's what we're making tonight. This is an old template. I've made it over and over again. So there's some corrections. And first you need the cardstock. Three and a half wide, nine inches long. And I'm going to bring my trimmer in. You can also use the scoreboard, of course. And we're going to put the long side at the top. And the left edge goes at one and three fourths. I'm going to put my cutting blade out of the way so I don't um, accidentally use it and we're going to score at one and three fours move it over to two and a half four and one quarter and i will post this template too i might rewrite it because it's kind of messy and it'll be on my blog later this week too in five inches so it's three and a half by nine inches is the cardstock 
And then I scored it one and three fourths, two and a half, four and a quarter, and five inches. Okay. So the only candy in my craft room that isn't stale is Reese's Peanut Butter Pumpkins. Because they only come about this time of year, so we have to get them fresh. Well, and the, the Christmas candy I have, I use over and over again. I was just doing a Zoom. My team, um, Stampy Mom's Joy Team, meets every Tuesday night right before this. And um, my good friend Barb showed us an awesome box tonight. And they wanted to know what candy fit. Well, I have all the kinds of candy. It's just stale. You can't eat it. Okay, I'm going to break in and say a bunch of hellos. Who's have, here tonight, we honey? Have Bev and Chris and Diana and Ruth, 11 a.m., because they just went to, to Daylight oh, Savings. Oh, I thought you couldn't come tonight, Ruth. And uh, Mary and Glenda and Bridget. And a special hello to Becky White from Kentucky, her first time oh, watching us. Welcome, Becky. Welcome, all of you. It makes my, my heart happy that you're all here. Okay, so now that we have scored this, I kind of like it with the edges corner rounded. So I'm going to take this detail trio punch. With this, you have to make sure you get it in all the way. And then just punch the corners. It just makes it look more finished. What do you think, Steve? Would you punch the corners? Yes, it definitely does something for it. It does something. He's no, not, it, makes, he's, it makes it look more he's, finished. He's not it sure what. Like more of a actual craft. Yes. So while I have that punch out, I'm going to do this. So when the box folds together, I put a piece of DSP up here and also one on this part of the box. The DSP, can you read it upside down? It's two by three and a quarter is the piece that goes up here. And then I'm going to quarter round this too. I was going to say. This is um, the Halloween paper in the current mini catalog. I just got a fourth of a package and mine is just about gone. I've had some friends come and make Halloween treats at my house this last week and this week, I guess. Okay, so that you just leave a little border around it. So it was a beautiful day here in Iowa. It was. And you know, the first day that it actually was cooler all day long. And I swim laps at our, our fitness center, and this is the first day where the pool outside was drained. No more oh, swimming outside. Were you sad? I was. I talked to the people at the front desk, and I said, I guess I don't swim outside again until next spring. So it's, it's, that's officially fall now because they've drained the pool. It is. Okay, so I'm going to hop around here a little bit. I'll tell you the size of this while we're, while we're here. But I want Steve to do some die cutting for me. I, I know Steve loves it when I'm I do ready. that. Die cutting, I can do. Can you? Yes. Okay, so on the front of the box, this piece is one and a half by three and a quarter. And it's going to go right here. And then I want to put something. I want to put a treat so sweet on here. So I'm going to go ahead. This is banner year. I bought this last year and it's still current. I like it because it has Thanksgiving, Christmas, fall. Happy fall, y'all. We should send that to Amy. Yes. Our new uh, Texas daughter-in-law. Wait, wait a second. Now that we have a son in Texas and a future daughter-in-law in Texas, I think we have permission to say y'all, too. Whoa. Because we're, like, grafted into the Texans. So I'm just going to start saying y'all all I the think, time. I think you've already started saying it. But that's nothing new for me. Beth knows that I kind of try and adapt to whoever I'm talking to. He he does. He um we've probably told this story, but he likes to dress the parts wherever we go. So which the kids were always totally embarrassed by. So he likes it when uh, we go into an Irish pub, which is one of my favorite things to do because I just like the culture of it. And we talk to the, the people there that are actually from Ireland with their Irish accents and then I start talking with an Irish accent. Yeah. And and then he goes to Texas and he talks with the Texas oh. accent. You see where this is going. Yeah. Okay. 
So a treat so sweet came out of Banner Year. And then this is just the stitch rectangle dies. I think most of you have these. It's the littlest one. And honey, could you take this over to the die cutting machine and just cut that out? I can. Please. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and attach the DSP. So when I have my um, joy team meetings on Tuesday nights, we make a fun fold or a box every single week. It's super fun. You should think about joining us. And um, the box we made tonight, I love so much. Barb Kingsley made it. Barb's on now. Barb is on. Barb, I love your box. Is it okay if I show it tomorrow at noon? You guys will love it. It's got a pop-up in it. We could we could come up with some really cute things to put in there. Barb's is cute too. Okay, so Steve, good job, Steve. Thank you. He I contributed. Yay. Oh, he contributed something else today. I'm like, what should we make tonight? And he has this elaborate, Barb, if you're on, Steve wants to use your polar bear set. He has an elaborate fun fold card with a, a penguin jumping off of the polar bear ice. Actually, it's a puffin. A puffin. A puffin. Sorry. I, I mean, let's not, not a polar bear. puffin. So he wants the polar bear ice, Barb, that you have for his puffin to jump in the water. So who wants to see, see Steve's puffin? I, you know, ice card kind of like live action sort of scenes <laughs> yeah we have to have exciting um exciting things now on this box don't put it together until you have the candy because if you put it together last week someone put it together without the candy and then you're not going to get it the exact right size okay wow so it's Ruth going has a daughter-in-law in texas and it's her birthday today Oh. So I think her daughter-in-law should spend time in Australia. And her daughter, her daughter-in-law is from Texas, but lives in Australia. Okay, and then. we've met her. I cannot wait to see what accent comes out of that. It's a combination Texas, Texas and Australia. Australia. Are you saying people in Australia have an accent? They, they don't <laughs> talk like I do, but maybe that's because I have an accent. Yeah, maybe, maybe we have the Midwestern accent. Yeah. Do we do we have an accent? Do you guys have an accent? So Tony and um, Jean were here today. I didn't think they had an accent. Oh, a little you? bit. You a can little hear bit. The Pennsylvania. Okay. You, you can hear a little bit of that. Um, but uh, Mary is saying she's been in Colorado for 35 years, but she still has her Boston accent. Really? Yeah. The Boston accent is is hard to lose. I think once you have it, it's awesome though. Okay. So a treat so sweet. I put it on three mini dimensionals and just popped it up. And then the tear and tape, if you look, the tear and tape goes right along that edge. That goes here. And then on the other side, we have the corner rounding. And that's on the wide part, like the five inch part. And then these score lines just wrap around this. So for your treats, I feel like the kids are going to rip it apart. So don't spend an hour making each treat. These are like, what do you think? 30 second, 60 second treats. You could cut them all out, score them. They get a cute treat and you don't care what happens to it, right? And you can, if you're really picky, if you don't like the purple, sometimes I've made them so it coordinates with the purple. You can, if you want tape, with scotch tape, the purple sides back. But I think I'm just going to leave them open. I took the backing off the tear and tape. And you literally just place it down with the candy inside. And then the candy stays inside, but it's also very easy to pull out. So you sized it perfectly by putting it in there. So here's our template and here's our candy. Like I said, if you come back tomorrow at noon, we'll have a fun box. I also have my host code here. I have tons of tutorials, tutorial bundles. I give them away free with every $50 purchase. And some of my tutorial bundles have 90 tutorials. Some have 15. But you can pick which one you want. What else, Steve? Well, What's... Ruth has validated that we definitely have accents. 
we have accents do we Ruth? I, I think compared to the folks that, and, and she asked me if i can do an australian accent and i can but it's really bad so no i'm not doing it. okay i'm gonna come over here by steve so so let's hear your what what should he say ruth no i'm not, no, not australian no, wait i'm not in the camera there i am so marceline marceline has the polar bear Marceline, I'm going to come see you tomorrow and borrow <laughs> borrow Barb's polar bear. And what else? We have a combination um, Maine and Alabama Southern accent. I bet that's interesting. That would be interesting to hear. And Diana, thank you for sharing. Anytime you guys share the video, it really does help. And we super appreciate that. Is anyone coming back tomorrow to watch? New and central see, time. What are we making tomorrow again? We're making Barb's fun pop-up box yeah. that she taught us tonight. Cool. So Michelle is on. Michelle is my friend um, from Cre Creativity Abounds. So I'm glad you're here, Michelle, too. Everybody, thank you for coming. Do you have anyone else? Okay. Um, they want to see your puffin card. So. Yep. I think it'll be pretty cool. Okay. It's a special fun fold that uh, Beth and Jean created. Yeah. So we've, we've been, she's been waiting to roll it out. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. Please come back again. Have a wonderful evening and we'll see you tomorrow if you can join us. Bye. Bye-bye.